Sean the Cannons, Sean the Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. Welcome everyone to another exciting episode of Boom Rules, Super Crow and Gaming Rocket League. So many words in the beginning. I know, <laughs> we realize there's a lot, there's a lot, lot of modifiers. Yeah. There's a lot like, of, yeah. Welcome to the show, we play games and give advice. That's right, there you go. Boom. Boom, boom. We are not I'm pirates. Right. <laughs> we are not pirates. And uh, we are playing the single arches who do have a losing record, but that doesn't mean anything to us anymore. So yeah, we are. Let's just get in it and win no matter what. <laughs> or lose. We'll see. <laughs> if, if somebody gets boomed, just continue playing as normal. There you go. That's that's what we learned last time. Ah, uh, we yes. Last well, time. the rest of the players continue playing as normal yeah, yeah, yeah. while, while, while the other one sits there and, and yeah, 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 completely helpless. Exactly. Us. Here we I'll go. Let you take it. Going to get on the subject yeah, of the single arches. I think in the last game that we played the single arches, I I made some joke about how my uh, favorite parabola or my favorite single arch was Woo! the St. Louis arch. Yeah. And somebody commented that the arch is not in fact a parabola; it is a flattened catenary, which yeah. is just absolutely something that totally blew my mind. Wow. And I wanted to share that because Thank you I for learned... collectively blowing out of our minds as well. Minds have been blown. Yeah. <laughs> it was just such an interesting thing that I literally lived near St. Louis my whole life and didn't know. Oh, I've never even heard now, of now that you put that into context, yeah. that does make more sense. Where I'm like, who, who cares? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like big from the area. Dad, was, did you think that previously, like previously it was just a big thing that it was the parabola? Yeah, I just assumed. Okay. Yeah. This is, I, I feel like this isn't something that I, I would have spent a whole lot of time um, having thoughts on, maybe. <laughs> um, well, like, we have a we have a star up on the hill in Roanoke, um, a very large star that's kind of iconic. Um, I'm not sure that I would have qualms over the actual technical shape of that is a star. Yeah. And the colors uh, the of the star were changed Pentagon, for then? the very first time yeah. since I've been here. Yeah, Veterans Day. Oh, that uh, makes sense. That's Red. why. Woo! It was very pretty. Yeah, it is very pretty. Um, Tyler and I got up on the roof to look at it because we have a crow's nest, and so it was just, it's its such a good view. Yeah, that, that is amazing. Can we get a question? We can do it. Let's do it. So this question is from Karen. And she says, um, it's a question that might be suited for Jordan, but the boys should answer too. I've been a tomboy all my life, and as a result, I don't dress like normal girls do. I usually wear Adidas fitted sweatpants or jeans that aren't as skinny as other girls, paired with like a regular unisex fitting t-shirt. As a result, it's hard for me, especially in an environment where I don't know anyone, to fit in and be social with girls who are more girly than I am. Uh, I feel so out of place dressed the way I am, and I'm worried that they won't accept me or they'll see me as weird. I have a good friend group, I love them and no one bullies me, that's not the issue. I'm just looking for a way to not feel so out of place and some of the courage to socialize when I'm around other girls who are more girly than I am. Any advice? So this, this is, is an interesting, interesting. question because I, I think there's a few things that kind of matter to the question. Like for one, nice this could block. be a, a bit of a, would she like to be a little more girly but doesn't know how? Yeah. Like um, or is this like a, a particular <laughs> style choice? that she has and maybe just feels a little self-conscious when she's like the only person dressed um, dissimilar to everyone This else. person is almost certainly in high school, by the way, because this is not an issue that I feel like you would have with after the fact. Well, and I guess my maybe. thinking... Not as much, anyway. I think there are. Mm, I feel like I had that experience in college a little bit, because really? I'm as okay. well, like, definitely in high school I was a tomboy. I didn't even start mm. wearing makeup until I was 17. Me neither. And I didn't wear my hair out of a ponytail until I was 25. Like every day it was a ponytail. What made, you, what made you change? My sister. She literally made a bet with me that I couldn't go a full month wearing my hair down, except That's at the gym. Hilarious. That is actually literally why I have a beard as well. It was a no shave November thing that oh! never, oh! that that never stopped. That is hilarious. Um, oh but the God. thing is, the thing is, is that I always wanted to kind of have a beard, but I think I almost needed somebody to be like, right. hey, let's do No Shave November as a funny joke to see how it actually looks because I really right. want it to work. <laughs> and then people were like, dude, it actually looks kind of good. I, yeah, and I was I, like, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I've seen similar situations like this many times now as we've gotten through adulthood um, where you sort of like, there's no, you, you almost like need permission to like make a change about who you are or like the way you look for some reason. Like it feels like 
it feels like you do. You don't, obviously, and you can say that, but it's easier to say than it is to practice. Mm -hmm. Right. Because maybe you have, like, personally defined yourself by a particular style or look or um, whatever it may be, and, like, maybe it feels like you're changing your own identity. Yeah, uh, yeah, by doing something. I, yeah. I mean, I very much had that with um, gelling my hair. Yeah, and well, I think, man, I think I've talked about this. Me like, too. when I first started, it was like my hair. When I find I'm gonna put gel in it, I'm gonna use as little as possible, and my hair will look however it looks at the end of like 15 seconds of tussling. Right, like you give me it's, like a time limit. Right, it's like I, because I'm not going to be someone who who spends too much time on his hair, and. I think as time's gone oh. on, it's uh, like, you know, I actually like it when I style it just right. Right. <laughs> Dude, I, yeah, I went through the same problem, again, around, like, gel. Like, <clears throat> I remember going to college and seeing that my roommate had it. Or, like, one of my one of my roommates had used gel in hair. I was like, oh, man, I can't look at this guy. cares so much. But, like, you know, I much prefer the way my hair looks, like, when I put some style onto it. Um, but for me, yeah, it was like, if, if I put gel in my hair, it's like people will know that I care. And I don't want people to know that I care. <laughs> right, right, right. What a fun right. Like, as if it's like you a know, problem to care. Right. Yeah, thing that like, only and, happens but, in adolescence. And the, the, like the obvious inverse <laughs> is that like the very act of not doing it then means that you're still doing it because of the same reasons you're not doing it. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, it's it's you know I don't know. Eventually, I think what actually changed it was nice, nice shot. What man. helped me was that I. When I graduated college and I got like a real full-time job, mm -hmm. like I also at that time was like, okay, I'm gonna go all in on like a new look right now, and that may, like I'm gonna change everything at once, oh, yeah. and that's going to like uh, be okay because then it's like, oh yeah, you got a job. That's the reason it's okay to change right oh, now. I've totally talked about this before. I feel like sometimes it is easier for me to make changes if it's extreme, right? Than than a subtle change, like. Mm -hmm. Instead of waking up at, at 7 a.m. because it'd be good to wake up like early, I'm like, nope, 5 a.m. <laughs> like I gotta I gotta go, gotta all go big out. Yeah. Uh, Cause it's it's like it's not worth just waking up a little bit early. But back to the question, I'm, I'm a little curious why this person even wants to like feels that they want to or need to fit in. Right. Like, like they're talking like. It can be something that makes you that that's what makes me think that they maybe want to be but don't know. How that, to like be. yeah, like they're like they're abandoning themselves, or else that like people might judge them like, oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, you're yeah, it's not are. yeah, because this is not you. Okay. This isn't you. Yeah, you're yeah, just trying that, okay. to fit in. The sure. thing that yeah. struck me a whole lot was she used the term "normal girls." Yeah. Blah. And and I just like, there's no such thing as a normal girl, and there. when. Like, like, you are a normal girl. You dress the way that you dress, and, and you are a girl, and you are normal, and that is totally fine. Like, there are tons of girls who dress exactly like you do. So don't feel like you are in any way abnormal or wrong, and if someone judges you for what you're wearing, that is so their problem. Yeah. I think the whole uh, tomboy term, and like the, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah, no, I yeah. mean, it's um, it's interesting. And I think one example I might be able to, to kind of bring to the table here is um, my girlfriend Alice owns a bridal shop. Yes. And uh, working at that shop is her younger oh, sister. Oh, and score. they both have, like, style, I would say. <laughs> yes. For sure, yes. Um, you know, like, they, they certainly do uh, come across oh, as, like, like as maybe what's being described within the context of this example as a girly girl. Um... And one of my other friends recently started working there, and she has traditionally been like she lived out of a van oh, yeah, for yeah. a while. Oh yeah. Like she literally like they were camping, they were rock climbing, mountain biking, you know, living with their two dogs. Like it was a it was a life adventure and experience and like right. the whole crazy thing. Defined herself by being very athletic and outdoorsy and yeah. specifically not being girly. Right, 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 right. Yeah, like like went months on end without using, you know, eyeliner or something mm -hmm. like that. Yes. Um, but I think what happened is, you know, she starts working at the shop and I think like the more she's exposed to it and the more she can kind of like gain her own comfort with it, she's like, oh my God, I, I kind of like makeup. I kind of like wearing it, sure. like, you know, getting all dolled up and wearing a dress or, you know, whatever the case may be. Right, like because that. it does give her added confidence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and like, it's a thing. Nice. Uh, that's a thing where like you doing those things doesn't change the definition of, of who you are as a person right right like, like it just expands right. yeah yeah you know? yeah that's yeah. a good one i like i like thinking mm. of it that way actually yeah well um, and I, oh sorry go ahead no 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 go ahead um well i was gonna say the other
big one for me is goofy as can be is v-necks uh, uh, uh. like in my mind the guys who wore v-necks were also the guys in fraternities and i was <laughs> sure, like sure. if i wear a v-neck i will become a frat guy and i think what finally occurred to me with that one was like or i can just not i can choose to not act like the people that i think wear these and just also look good and also <laughs> just be a normal person oh you know, yeah. quote normal person right yeah. um, oh no no oh boy thank you ben I mean, I think I've recently started dressing differently, aside from the fact that it's colder here than I've experienced in my adult life. Um, I don't know, I just kind of decided that I wanted to make my wardrobe a little bit more professional looking sometimes, and so I've been, yeah, well, I reintroduced jackets to my... Yeah, well, jackets <laughs> and, that, and that's another thing, we're like, that doesn't, you know, define who you are or change who you are, it's, it expands uh, as oh, a person. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. I do think that, um... Upgrading oh, your gosh. wardrobe. Oh, oh. God, I just knew they were going to score. We were not clearing that. I think yeah. upgrading your wardrobe is one of these things that sort of like falls in the category of development. Like if you didn't grow up with parents that like were trying to make you fashionable or yeah. providing the, the um, monetary you know means to do it. Um, okay. I think it's almost like you get out of college, you get your first job, you buy your first car. Uh, you know, you start living on your own or with a roommate or whatever the case may be. And at some point in this equation, you're like, I should probably dress nicer. Yeah. And I feel like <laughs> so many people that I know find their style at approximately age 24, 25. Oh, yeah. Um, where it's like, you could know someone who previously had no style whatsoever that all of a sudden it's like, huh, but they, they have put together an outfit. I find that I latch on to brands. I, oh, I, like just get I, all your stuff from one. Yeah, store, well, I'm just then, like, and then oh, it naturally all goes together. Now, yeah, now I like Express. All my clothes are from Express. Um, or uh, lately, I've been wearing like almost exclusively shoes from Vans. Uh, I don't know why. Stitch yeah, Fix has been working in. out pretty well Woo! for me. Woo! Stitch, Woo! Fix, oh Stitch my gosh. Fix has been good. So I think the to get back to the person's original question, I would say if. Like, if, if you're okay with dressing different, or you're trying to fit in more, but you feel like you're gonna like be abandoning your own personal identity, like maybe just ask one of your friends who you feel like is maybe the uh, most toned down version of what you would call to be uh, girly normal girls. And just be like, can you help me go shopping one day and like pick out something that's a little less the way I normally dress? Oh man, there is nothing, I, I, maybe this is uh, the most shallow thing in the world I could say. I don't know if there's anything more flattering than somebody asking advice because they like your style. Oh, oh yeah. Right. You yeah, know, yeah. it's like, it, it really that honestly... That in. Yes! Yeah. And a boom Way in there, go. Too. There it is. Woo, 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 woo. Woo, 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 boom! Um, no, I, I've had a member of the Discord before reach out to me and she was going shopping with her nice, boyfriend yeah. and she was like, hey, I really like your style. Like, what can I help direct my boyfriend on, like, what to buy? And I was like, oh my gosh! Thank you! <laughs> you guys do all have Really great style. Mm -hmm. oh, thank I, you. Kind of did a little shoulder brush. Uh, yeah, thank you, Jordan. I do appreciate that. Um, well, cool. I'm so, glad that I'm glad that that was able to help someone, and I I definitely agree that it would be flattering of her friends if she wants to. They're probably not going to say no. Yeah, they're not going to be like, um, excuse no, me, no. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean I like my style? I don't even try. Is that it's like ah. Uh, <laughs> Everyone, oh. everyone tries. Literally this morning at Starbucks, there was a girl wearing a really cute sweater, and I walked over and I'm like, "Hi, I really like That's this." That's true. Do you it was remember very weird. We were, in the, I feel like we were in the middle of a conversation. And you're like, "I'll be right back." I'm like, uh, "Okay." Uh, <laughs> and I thought it was somebody you knew. Oh no! Yeah, no, you're like no. I was afraid I like she had sweater. already gotten her drink, and I was afraid she was leaving. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that I caught her before she left, but okay. then she ended up sitting. You can also do that. <laughs> yeah. Just approach strangers and ask them advice. Yeah, where'd you get your shirt? I like it. Yeah. Stuff like that. Honestly, the, the one stripy sleeve shirt that I've gotten from Amazon, I've gotten so many compliments on that, and people ask, like, oh, where'd you get it? Literally Amazon. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. I can... Oh, man. Hopefully my thought didn't just clean out of my head. Though, right? oh, man. oh, okay, yeah. My, my most recent thought on fashion. <laughs> I, um, I have had this thing where I've been fearful of doing things that are trendy, like, with that just gut feeling <gasps> that at some point in time I'm going to look at a picture and be like, oh, oh absolutely, what was I right? Thinking? Mm -hmm. I have a comment on this. Um, and so I think this year at Disney, uh, right before we went, I bought some what are called jogger pants, which are kind of like the ones that kind of cuff oh. at your ankles. 
and I was like, I don't know, I don't know, like what if these don't look good? And I, I mean, it made me feel good. You guys all complimented you me on great. it. You look great. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate yeah. it. Twenty years um, from now, maybe not, but that's the thing, though. It's like it's okay to, yeah. to just be in style. Okay. Like. No! Even oh, if so it means oh. not. Now this, you, a, now this is just a style podcast. What do you guys feel about <laughs> denim jackets? Right now, denim. I'm interested in one. <sighs> I, also, I tried some on this weekend, and I'm like. Mm. Let me tell. You, I'm actually much more in the market, I think, right now for a corduroy jacket. Really? Ooh. My goodness. Yes. Yeah, you know what? Right. I want a I nice know. tan corduroy jacket. That's what I want. Nineties. My, my sister and my mom have both said that denim jackets are so very much back in. And when they're uh, when yeah. my mom's here for Thanksgiving, she wants to get pictures taken, and they want to do denim on denim um, with like awkward family denim <laughs> photos are not back in, and they never were. <laughs> and I was literally Remember? like, oh my gosh, it's the nineties all over. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey guys, what are Mario's overalls made out of? Denim, uh, denim, denim. Denim, denim. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> um, oh, no, I think great. denim jackets are in. I don't think wearing matching denim jackets will ever be in again. <laughs> although I don't um, think it ever was. <laughs> although Jordan, don't you and your younger sister have a picture in matching denim jackets from, from the nineties? Oh, so from, you can like recreate it. See, that's what that's the that, approach see, that's you have to then. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you have to like recreate this. You're not. Oh, someone's gonna score. Yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. How? <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it went in. That's. That's all that matters. I think you bumped them into it, and I was the last person you hit. Look it. at them just hanging around the ball. <laughs> <laughs> all three of us like, I got it, guys. <laughs> and then we did hanging around. All, all three missed the exact same shot. Oh, shoes. There we go. There it is. Woo! Oh, oh no, what? Are you? Snotting. Was there an update recently? I bet they updated it such that uh, no. they can now defend against no. that. No. I mean, they can always defend against it. That was just a low shot. Yeah. Normally it's a little, it's a little bit higher. higher. They just don't go that high. Well done, you guys. You were you were really on there. Everybody got a chance to score in both yes. of the last games. Yes. Multiple times. Yes, we didn't well, lose. Home. <laughs> That's a good time. Yes, we didn't lose. We won two games in a row. Yay! It's just like the old days, guys. Look, we haven't done that since. Way back here, who oh we play gosh. then? It was the Rovers and the Single oh. Arches. Was it the same two teams? No, the Cyclones. No, this is the next team. The Single Monarchs. Arches. Oh, the, actually, we did have Rovers and Single Arches back to back, back to back again, and then the Cyclones. So next time, though, the Evil Sky Corp Ooh. comes again. We've clogged our way back into the number four spot on the standings, and with a with a game of uh, buffer. Yeah, yeah, we got, we yeah. got a little yeah. breathing room there. So it's. It's not even just goal differential that's putting us up there. Like we're that's in right. it. We are. We are in it to win it, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna catch up with those bombers and those seventh grade soccer players. And uh, yeah, fearful and Roanoke the Express. Fe the Roanoke Express. My goodness. Well, all right. Well, we'll see how the Evil Sky Corp fares in the next episode. Uh, if you have any questions you'd like us to answer, let us know in the towel section also, down below. Also, every single person listening should go out this weekend and find an article of clothing that they previously mm. thought was not part of their mm. style and, and give it a whirl Just give it, give it the old whirl a pop. I agree. I'd, I'd, be, agree. I'd, I'd be proud and excited for you. Also, go into a candy store and buy yourself a whirly pop. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean. You Delicious. know what I'm talking about. Get a whirly pop and sport your new... Black V-neck. Yes. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> Alright guys, until next time. Chud the cannons, chud the cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates.